In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about your text and taking notes and reading. The most time intensive portion of this course is your is reading your text. And the textbook is great, but it is very dense, very thick. Um, the information that you will be tested on will come straight from the textbook. So it's vital that you read and take notes the correct way. So I just wanted to, to discuss a couple things that you should do from the beginning um, that will help you with this. So the first thing to do is um, the textbook is laid out in main sections um, with subsections underneath and you can see how everything is laid out. If you go to um, the modules page in Canvas and then you will go to each unit will have an, in, an outline. So you want to click on this outline here, and it will take you to the outline of that chapter. Now, this isn't going to be all the information you need. This just gives you an idea of what's going on in the textbook in the correct order. So it's important that when you are reading through the book, you are also following along with this. And what I recommend doing is taking notes as well. Now, you can print this out, or you can um, just have it um, up while you are taking your own notes, but I think it's really important to go through this as well as reading the book so you just get the main ideas, the main topics, and uh, you kind of understand the progression of where you're going when you're um, reading the textbook. So another thing that I put up here for your enhancement um, in reading is if you go to an announcements, um, there's one tab here called reading the right way. And obviously what you should do is read through this, but basically um, what I recommend is on your own sheet. For me, it's always better to not just read, but to take notes while I'm reading. So what I like to do is when I read a paragraph, I basically just summarize that paragraph um, into one or two sentences or even just bullet points, just so I can kind of redigest what I just read. And then also the most important benefit is I can go back to that um, for my studying and for um, preparing for any test or quizzes that I have. Now when you're reading, again this book is pretty dense, there's a lot of information, so what you have to do is kind of weed out what's the most important. So when you are reading through, um, look at specific artists that are highlighted. Look, if there's a couple pages on an artist or a band, really focus on them more than somebody that's just mentioned in passing. Um, often the book will have pictures of various artists. Those are usually more important than the ones that don't have pictures. Um, and typically if there is a listening guide, if there is uh, music that you're supposed to listen to based upon that artist, again, they are more important than others. So you kind of have to take your time and weed things out. And then the last thing is when you are reading through, make sure you are taking notes in an organized manner, um, using tabs, um, making headings in your own notes, um, trying to lay it out so that it is easily um, organized and so that you can uh, reference it quickly, um, especially when you're taking tests. This will help you a lot and again you get to restudy. So some people yeah you can just go through and read and you can remember anything that definitely isn't how I was able to get through um, college. I definitely had to take notes and study those prior to the tests. Um, so just a couple recommendations um, in going through your textbook and reading and taking notes the correct way it will definitely help you down the line.